Welcome back to make way for Cat. So we have some questions to ask some people. Now, in the last episode, we did accidentally talk to Burgess. And he described the night... Um, I don't know if it was the night that the church itself was bombed or the temple was bombed. Or if it was before then. But it sounded like they had Logan's father kind of captive inside the... Uh, I think Owen's... I think it was supposed to be Owen in here. Captive inside the temple and... Oh, and uh, Logan was trying to get in and Burr just wouldn't let him in. He said it was um, how the... how things work. And then he doesn't remember anything after that. It sounded like Logan clocked him and knocked him out. Ooh, RBO too. Great. Hey there. How you holding up? Did you see Logan on the night of the temple incident? Show Owen the photo. Wow. Where'd you dig up an old relic like that? Ah, uh, yep, that's me in the background. But I can't say I remember too much about this day. Oh, people were always getting married in the blue moon back then. He looks just like his mom, Logan. She's got the white hair. Logan's ma. What was she like? I can barely remember her face if not for this photo. She skipped town not too long after Logan was born. It shocked everyone with that move. Hardly worth mentioning Logan's old man. Howlett took it the hardest. Ah. But you'd never have guessed it from this photo. <laughs> Looks like a match made in heaven. Except for the tear down the center, I guess. When Howlett came back with the disease and was put in quarantine by the church, Logan really lost it. He started shouting for them to release his paw outside the temple door. Understandable. Howlett was all he had his whole life. The disease. <laughs> well... That's not completely true. I considered Logan a friend once. I really just hope he sees through all this madness and turns himself in. Then maybe the healing can begin. Hey there! How you holding up? Did you see Logan on the night of the temple yeah, incident? Yeah, not that night. But he came into the saloon that day with Haru, and they were acting real strange, uh, buying up a lot of supplies. It was later that I heard that they blew up the temple in an attempt to get Howlett out. And the old man died in the blast. So Howlett died in, in the blast. Hmm, I think that might be a cover. Honestly, I think he might have been dead before <sighs> Frankly, then. Frankly, even if Logan did manage to get Howlett out of quarantine, it would have endangered us all with the disease. Real sad story. Other than that, though, I'm afraid I don't know much of anything. Hey there! How you holding up? So you're trying to find out more about Logan, huh? Yeah, I don't blame you. It's all pretty weird. Never heard of a decent fella going bad so quick like that. My hope through all of this is that nobody else gets hurt. Well, <laughs> good luck with whatever it is you're doing. And let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. So I'm actually really curious to go talk to Dr. Fang. But let's talk Hello to Arbio. There. What's joke of luck has brought you my way? Oh boy. It seems like Secret Supplier has been revealed. Yes, yes. I told me Anne that those recipes were company secrets. Which was true. Only Haru and myself are privy to such knowledge. What? I was the only one left around here who knew how to make that stuff. I'm supposed to just give away my recipes like that? Come now. I've got to pay the bills too, you know? It's really so unpleasant what happened with Haru. Not only because I consider him a friend of mine, but also because of that great mind of his. He was always coming up with inventions and such. We had a really good deal. All the products he showed me how to make, I put up in my shop and we split the earnings. 50-50. I've even put aside what he'd be making. You know, if he ever comes back, whatever would a bright and unassuming fellow be doing with a barbarian like Logan anyway? 
I say there must be blackmail involved. Haru would never turn against us on a dime like this. Well, friend, now that you know how to make the stuff, uh, care to not spread it around too much? Yeah, I don't even care. Hello there! What stroke of luck has brought you my way? That night? When Logan attacked the temple? Yeah. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. I was just at home going through my inventory. I found out about all the commotion later, just like everyone else. Hello there! What stroke of luck? I think it's great that you're looking into things. Haru can't be the villain they're making him out to be. He just can't be. I wish you luck in your investigations. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. Let's go talk to Fang, because I'm curious about what this medicine was he was taking and what this disease was that he had. Actually, let me see if I can find him. No, someone's at Taylor Maid. Clinic. Awesome. I was gonna be sad if it was like clinic is on is not open. Where are you? I don't even see him in there. Now he must be in here. All right, I guess we'll find him in the morning. Medicine. Critical rate. Okay, I guess we'll have to talk to him in the morning. could still be up. Yeah, the temple for sure. City Hall. Oh, Miguel's out and about. Um, I don't know if I can cut through here. Oh, okay, maybe. Nope, not there. Someone's moving back here. Pan, oh. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the protector serve you today? Yeah, the bombs. Someone had to show him how to make the bombs. What's that? Making bombs now, are we? Ah, <laughs> finally! You're getting into building cool stuff. <laughs> I meant to say something to you about all those lame screws and boards and, uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, now that you mention it, I believe I have seen these kinds of bombs before. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, it's coming back to me. Uh, that foul Logan's paramount compatriot used those kinds of bombs as his weapons of choice. A bit cowardly, if you ask me. If you don't have the guts to look someone in the eye as you punch them in the teeth, well, <laughs> in my book, you shouldn't be fighting at all. Oh, Pen. Furthermore, these puny things would hardly scathe an indomitable chevalier such as myself. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the protect- Aha! Trying to track down that dastardly Logan, are you? 
<laughs> Good on you, Skinny. Oh my gosh, call me Skinny Arms one more time. If you do find out where he is, why not tell me first? Skip the civil corpse. Skip the paperwork, you know. Make sure Logan gets some real justice. Mm, yeah. Considering you're like the muscle lackey for the Church of the Light, I don't know. No. I thought we were doing extrajudicial stuff already. It's not such a stretch from what you're doing now. Uh, fine. What do I know? Uh, let me think. Hmm. The night Logan attacked our temple, I was at home pumping iron. Yes, I believe I was trying to perfect a 300 kilogram clean and press with one finger. Uh, but my darn palmar interosseous muscle was acting up. As soon as I heard the explosion, I rushed out of my room to see Burgess knocked out. Uh, that's something I see all the time, but what really caught my attention was the exploded temple. I managed to catch a glimpse of Logan riding away with someone, but they were too far gone for me to pursue. Maybe it really is time for me to get a loyal steed to call my own. <laughs> nah, I'll just keep training to run faster. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to my story as much as I enjoyed telling it. Uh, say, skinny arms, you're a good listener. I'll have to tell you stories more often. No, thank you. Hey, it's skinny arms. No more questions. Okay. I'm starting to think that the bombs were planted before Logan. You're looking into the Logan incident, eh? Dreadful stuff. Quite displeased to see things turn out the way they did. Not to mention the fallout sense. But it can't be helped. To be blunt, if Howlett had stayed out of the ruins we all know are too dangerous to explore, he'd still be alive. Is that where he got the disease? Yes, I made the decision to put Howlett under quarantine. Yes, it did enrage Logan and drive him to madness. But I did what was best for the town, and I'd do it again if I had to. Hmm. It's not a pleasant tale, just like the state of our world, unfortunately. That's it. Out of the past, mission updated. Let's take a look. Oh, we still have quite a few people to talk to. Matilda, Fang, Jasmine, Hugo. Oh, it's Jasmine we need to talk to at the tailor shop. That's right. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's gonna be bad. Oh, or not. Okay. Ooh. Anything up here? Crash. See if I can go in here. Oh, wait. I think I saw her walking out. Yes. Howdy there. Any news to report on the water tower? Goodness. Now wherever did you find this? You know, you don't need to be sneaking around, acting all suspicious, if all you're after is information. Yes, this makes sense. Although I must admit, this shows a level of organization from Logan I can't say I was aware he might be capable of. No doubt you've started to put things together since your arrival, but perhaps you'd best hear the tale in its entirety to dispel any misconceptions you might have about the whole ordeal. Not too long before you started living in Sand Rock, a great tragedy struck this town. Howlett, the monster hunter, and his son Logan, with whom you are already quite familiar with, ran into some trouble. 
Howlett, when diving in some ruins explicitly blocked off by the Civil Corps due to an abundance of unknown and dangerous substances. Sure enough, he became contaminated with something bizarre. Logan reacted rather wildly after Pastor Miguel quarantined his father inside the temple and refused to let Logan come in contact with him due to fears of contamination. He couldn't believe his father would be so careless as to come in contact with dangerous Age of Corruption concoctions. One night during the quarantine, Logan attacked the temple with bombs. I assume it was to free his father from the quarantine, but whatever the case, Logan botched the operation and parts of the temple collapsed. Us church folk were all outside, but Logan's father was still in there where we'd left him and when we found him down there, he was already gone. Logan blamed us church folk for what happened and now he seems bent on some kind of revenge. And he'd sooner take down the whole town if it means getting to us, I reckon. Howdy there, any news to report on the water tower? I don't think her story is 100% correct either. Well, of course, I was there at the scene of it all, as were most of us. I came out after the explosion, but by the time I knew what was going on, Logan was long gone. Howdy there. Any news to report on the water tower? I appreciate your concern on the matter, but I fear there's not much we can do but trust in the acumen of our civil corps to bring Logan to justice. Without hurting him too much, I hope. Try not to get discouraged. There are brighter days ahead. I'm sure of it. So she's saying that the church folk found Logan's dad passed away after the bombing incident. Um, Penn said he saw Logan riding away with him, though. But if Logan was there to get his father out, wouldn't he have gotten his father out? Like, fully? Even if he was dead? Okay, we'll have to come back for Jasmine in the morning. Oh yeah, let's check on our machines. It's getting really late. We still have to work on getting this water tower up. Okay, what are we still missing here? Steel frame. Iron plates. Steel frame. Okay, we need some more of those rods. Water has gone up 50%. Oh, I should have bought water yesterday. Oh, yeah, this this um, commission I have with the bars, um, someone in my comments reminded me about the quality scale, and that's probably what is lacking. They're probably not a top quality item, and the requester is looking for it. So let's check it out in our refiner and see if we can get those how much time do I have left on it? One hour. Not gonna make it. Failing. Oh, lower your reputation. Whoops. That's alright. It's just one. Okay, I'll just get this last one and we'll be all set. See if there's anything else we need to make here. We have 16, 18 rubber rings. Let's get those going. Amount of manganese still bars? Uh, 
Alright, we'll keep that going. Wow, we need a lot of steel bars. I guess we're gonna keep going on this as well. Okay. Well, I guess we're waiting on those. I'm not going diving anymore, so I'm not worried about cleaning out my inventory, so let's just go ahead. Tumbleweed standard. Oh, this is the new sand running thing. Which was fun, I will say. Alright, we're heading to Fang. I'm really curious about this disease he had. Day. Your vision is fading. How many feathers am I holding up? Close enough, close enough. Only temporary. Great. Uh, show Fang medical notes. No answer. No. Got nothing from him. I don't know what I expected, to be honest. Okay, now we need Jasmine. Looks like she's home, and then the last person oh, was Hugo. Hey there. Hope the pressure's not getting to you too much. Hmm? You're trying to find out more information about Logan, huh? <laughs> well, ain't that cute. I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. What? Yeah, yeah, I made this equipment. So what? <laughs> I can't hardly be held responsible for everything that moves in and out of my shop now, can I? <laughs> What are you implying, huh? That you made weapons for his father for his monster hunting? You got a lot of nerve. I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you, huh? He's overreacting. That's, we weren't accusing him of anything. So what if I did? What was I supposed to do? His mind was made up. If he had half a mind left at all, I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. Look. I, I always considered myself to be like an uncle to Logan. I would have taken him in, but I guess he didn't see it that way. I worry about what Logan might do, and I worry about how the more things escalate, the less likely I'm ever going to see that pup I used to know ever again. There ain't going to be an admirable settlement at the end of all this, so don't over-involve yourself. Be seeing ya! Hmm... All right, Jasmine. Help me out here. She's still in her room. Okay. Well, I guess we can't wait, just wait for her, so. We'll check back in a few.
Anyone else think that that um, gray building in the back looks like a dinosaur? Just me? Okay. Oh, we have knowledge point. Oh, it's not this one. Workshop. Not the assembly station, but I guess we're gonna... Yeah, work table and machines, that's what we want. Alright, speaking of water, I'm gonna check my uh, do nuts over here. Oh, just two? Better than nothing. Water's out. Ooh. Okay, so we need four more rings, which are on process now. Great. I'm gonna have to buy water. We're pretty much toast. I need to pick up some commissions. I'm running low on money now, too. Oh, oh, Jasmine. Jasmine's on the move. Hey! Are you okay? Oh. <sighs> this. I never should have drew this. If I knew what was going to happen, I never would have. We used to go on lots of adventures. And Logan changed. He didn't care about me, or my mom, or anybody. My mom said if things get better, we were going to rebuild a school in Sandrock. But things got worse because of Logan! Now I'm the only kid in town. Hey! Are you okay? He told me right before the incident everything would be okay. He lied. Aww. Hey! Are you okay? Logan used to be my friend. But now... I hate him. Aww. Triple aww. Nope, not this way. Okay, so we can actually turn this in now. Um, here. I'll see the blue moon. Let's pick up a quest first or two. Banjo, why couldn't I just take you home with me? <gasps> captain, my captain. Okay. Bloodstone saws. Let's see, what's... What's something that's a lot of money here? Cast iron rods. Magneto or Magneto inductive spec inspector. That's the thing we made for mint. Two and this is ex 
cast iron rods. Only a one star, but need outstanding quality. Let's try that. And we'll do the... I guess we'll do this one. Does this doesn't tell me what I it needs to make? All right, we'll go with it. All right, Elsie. Let's see what's going on. You did what? I did what I had to do. What you did was impulsive. And you put our friend in danger. I was coming up with a plan. All right, I reckon when you put it that way, I did what I had to do in order to get things done in a time frame that I could find satisfactory. Which is basically the same thing. Look, here they are now. Everything went fine, right? No one suspects a thing. Yeehaw. See, nice. It's like I said, not everybody's a detective. Folks got their own problems to worry about. Getting away with stuff is real easy. Half of the time it works every time. That's very specious reasoning. Much obliged. Well, if you're safe, I guess there's no point in getting hung up on what's already happened. Can you guys just promise me that you'll be more careful in the future? Ain't y'all ever heard of all's well that ends well? Fortune favors the bold. Stupid is as stupid does. I thought y'all were into book learning. I... Oh, all right, fine. We promise. With that being said, spill the beans. What'd you find out? A whole lot of nothing, but a whole lot of I stuff. I see. Wow. So, what does it all mean? I... I have no idea. What? Come on, you said talking to everyone would help us solve the case. Elsie could really do with a little less backseat detectiving right now. I'm sorry, I'm just all riled up. I think the best thing we can do for now is just wait until we have something else to go on. Thanks for doing all you did. Your summary on what you learned today was incisive and insightful. Yeah, you went out there and hit the streets like a real hard boiled bad egg. In fact, that gives me an idea. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you a surprise. No, no, not one of them's. A real surprise. <laughs> you just better ready. <laughs> I'm off. Uh, might wanna double check your windows are locked tonight. Nothing more for us to do now. Better just get back to it. See ya. Bummer, feels like a dead end. Like, there's no one questioning about the medicine thing? Like, what is this disease Howlett had? And was he actually killed by the bombs? Eh. Ugh, these are gonna take a while. Okay, so I need to make... I see, we need the steel bars for this. Cast iron rods. Do I have any that are outstanding quality? I'm gonna craft these first. I'm gonna take this down. I need the... this. Perfect.
All right, let's put down water filter. I think this needs a lot more stuff. How big pipes we almost have. Just need a minute. Alright, how are we doing here? Looks like stuff's still growing. Uh well, alright, let's go turn this one in. She is City Hall, of course. Oh, I forgot to put my water in. Vitally important. Oh, up back up here. Wait, did I not know there was a chest up here? <gasps> yeah, could definitely use that. Oh, where'd you come from? Hello. Be seeing you. Let's go refill our machines and get that stuff going. I don't trust you, Miguel. Or are you, Matilda. And certainly not Pen either. There we go. Oh, this one's almost done. Okay. We'll get this pipe and we'll finish up the pump that's up here. Done. That's one. Other things we had were the water tank and the frame. So we tried the frame already. We're waiting on some bars. Let's see what we can put here. Iron plates. Mm, we got a while before those are done. All right, so let's just do the frame. Is this a steel framework? Or no, that's the cast iron rods. Need iron plates here as well. Okay. Um... Oh, this is a repair of the water tower thing. Four days. All right, that's what's currently on. Working on it. This, we're just waiting on our mountain roses. And, all right. I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.